Jen Hawkins, and this is MA TV. We are at the Distressed Investing Summit today featuring the 18th Annual Turnaround Awards, joined by Andrew LaFontaine, VP of Business Development at VRC. Welcome, Andrew. Thank you, Leona. It's great to be here. Of course. Glad to have you. So can you tell us a little bit about v what VRC does and what you've been focusing on as of late? Sure. So I'd love to tell you about VRC. So VRC is one of the largest pure play valuation firms in the country. We actually have about 250 valuation professionals here in the United States. We value about 25,000 securities and work on about 1,000 deals a year. The two main areas that we're really focused on are financial reporting valuation. So we do a lot of work with private equity firms and their portfolio companies, as well as large public corporations as well too. So we do a lot of financial reporting valuation work anywhere from goodwill impairment, equity compensation, to purchase price allocation work for them. And the second area we're really focused on is our portfolio valuation business. That's about 40% of our business there, and that's valuing complex level three securities on a regular basis for large asset managers, hedge funds, as well as BDCs. So financial reporting valuation work is about 60% of our business, that's one, and then portfolio valuation is 40%, that's the other. So in that sort of 40-60 model, you guys are looking at a lot of different companies in different sectors and geographies, I assume. Yes. What different areas do you see as a firm that are poised for action in 2024? Yeah, so three sectors that we think there could be some opportunities on in 2024 are healthcare space, industrials, as well as technology. In the industrial space, um, there could be some good opportunities on the M&E, machinery and equipment valuation side of things. And technology, we're seeing a lot of interesting stuff um, from an intellectual property perspective. Uh, from a geography perspective, I think we're really interested in the Florida market, uh, particularly South Florida, this nice little West Palm to, to Miami corridor here. And from an international perspective, um, I think the European markets could see some growth going forward as well, too, um, as they get more comfortable with the current economic environment that we're in. And in terms of opportunities and challenges for 2024? Yeah, so I think in 2024, um, I think we're going to see M&A growth pick up here slightly. Um, I think you're already seeing it a little bit in Q1. But some trends or themes that I see in 2024, first off, I think are earnouts. So I think earnouts are going to continue to be a trend in 2024, and they're really going to help bridge the gap between buyers and sellers from a valuation perspective. Um, so that's number one. Number two, I think um, continuation funds are going to continue to be a trend in 2024 as well, too. Um, so they've really become a preferred exit vehicle for investments for private equity companies. And, um, and they're, they're really catalysts for um, fairness opinion work from a valuation perspective as well too. And the third one that might be a little bit of a challenge is from a regulatory perspective. I think uh, topics like pay versus performance are gonna come up a little bit more regularly as well as the notion of uh, ESG back loans as well too. So those are really the areas in 2024 that I think are gonna, gonna be trending there. Great, well thank you so much for your insights today, Andrew. Yeah, appreciate the time. And you're watching m and TV.